Hi, it's very nice to meet you in this video also. Hello everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello everyone. Hola. Hello everyone. Hi guys. Hi. Good day everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi everyone. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello everyone. Hey everyone. Hello. Hey everyone. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello everybody. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. It's a pleasure that you are watching our video. My name is Luis Alberto Pisano. Hi, I'm Michelle Clark. My name is Paul Sonia Castillo. I'm Audrey Nunez. My name is Sarah. Que si es este envi? Giancarlo Daroch. Hi, my name is Fernando Alvarado. My name is Zhang Xin. My name is Gan Duan. Meu nome é Lucio Massari. My name is Hugh Richards. My name is uh, Ella Losberg. I'm Kaura Kaeva. I'm Gabriel. My name is Alanis Olishberg. My name is Mars Mar. My name is Isaac Simon. You know Thomas. My name is Aaron. My name is Fu Zhang Han. My name is Denis Echoki. I'm Ada Rodriguez. Molly Ag. Kondo Walsh. My name is Renata Barros. Fiona Best. Benjamin Larenas. Mary Barton. Dan Smith. My name is Zhang Xi. And I'm Liu Tong, and uh, we are the first year graduate student of the Chinese Academy of Science. I'm an undergraduate geology student from University of Barcelona. From uh, SCG student chapter, uh, YGG class. I'm an MDOR student at the University of Leicester. With uh, UNAM, and also part of SCG uh, here in Namibia. Final year student at the University of Namibia. Eu estou prestes a me formar em Geologia pela Universidade de São Paulo. I come from SCG student, a chamber and IGGCS. I'm the vice president of the student chapter of Barcelona. I'm from Brazil, I'm a master's student at University of São Paulo. I'm also the president of the SEG student chapter here. And I am a PhD student here at Monash University. From the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. And I'm a student from SEG student chapter at IGG Coast. I'm a fourth year applied environmental geologist here at the University of Leicester. Yeah, I'm doing my master's in applied geosciences at RWTH University. Hi, we're both studying at the RWTH Aachen University in Germany and we're both studying applied geosciences in our masters. And I am a final year student at the University of Namibia doing a honors degree in geology and I'm also the SEG student chapter president of the year 2021. And I'm an expert in geology based in Santiago, Chile. I am also part of the early career uh, professionals committee I recently returned to academia as a PhD student at Colorado School of Mines in the United States. And I am an exploration geologist based in the UK, working for Nordgold out at the Bissabuli Open Pit Gold Mine in Burkina Faso. And I'm an economic geology PhD student at the University of Leicester, studying the emplacement of the Northern Bushveld Complex. My research direction is proper copper deposit in the central iron organic belt. I'm currently doing a research project on the potential of the mineral style nickel, copper, platinum group element sulfide mineralization in the Kalahari Such Zone, Botswana. And I'm majoring in or specializing in economic geology and petroleum. And I'm studying on how to evaluate the all bearing properties of pergamatite in the Himalaya Orogy Belt. I'm a PhD student at Monash University. I'm focusing on the transport and source of rare earth elements. Rare earth elements are really important for the future. Um, they're used in wind turbines, they're used in electric cars, and Australia is full of them. So um, what I'm studying is how exactly um, these rare earth elements, um, where they came from, how they got to where they are. The field I mainly study is rhenium in property. The problem I want to solve most is the beneficiation mechanism of it and where we can get it. I am a PhD student and my project is about modeling igneous intrusions for uh, 3D uh, modeling software. And the idea is to improve how we are modeling uh, the subsurface for uh, resource management. My project is to investigate fluid rock reactions, especially uh, the feldspar uh, water reaction, uh, especially key feldspar reaction and air bitization reaction, because key feldspar and air bite are always associated with IOCG deposit and porphyry deposit. My research at the moment is based around deep eutectic solvents, which are a more environmentally friendly way 
of um, processing gold as an alternative to cyanide. I'm currently working on my master's thesis, which is unraveling the Cretaceous and Cordilleran deformation related to the McMillan Pash Shale hosted massive sulfide deposits such as Tom and Jason, uh, which you can see behind me. My current research is rare metals. I would like to throw my own research on the status quo and the prospects of rare mental mineral resources in China to make an assessment. I'm studying uh, experimental petrology, which is basically making rocks. And I'm interested in putting critical metals into my experiments to see how they behave in deep earth conditions. Um, basically, how do critical metals move from the subducting slab into the mantle wedge? And hopefully that will give us an idea of how to figure out where and why they form eventually in the crust. My certain research direction is a study on the genesis of sedimentary air out deposit. To a certain extent, the study of such deposit can provide more evidence support for the evolution of the Earth's atmosphere and the development of life. My current research direction is light, real Earth mineral. I mainly want to solve the problems about the genesis of the deposits, including the source of all forming materials and the source of fluids. My main research direction is uh, carbon titanic uh, alkaline related uh, rare earth element uh, deposits. Many countries consider them as uh, strategically important resource. So in the future, I want to characterize magma source and uh, all forming fluids. I just started my PhD looking at critical metals in um, abandoned or legacy mine tailings. I'm really excited for this because it's an opportunity to get important critical metals out of already mined resources, which is really going to be great for the environment. My first motivation to be involved with economic geology, I would say, is that um, Brazil is a huge country with a lot of but an unknown potential. Uh, there's still a lot to study, a lot to discover around here. I'm very passionate about geoscience and in particular economic geology. More so because it's a field that allows you to constantly engage with the builder and structure of our planet Earth. I want to become an economic geologist because I love geology, I love minerals, I love nature. It's all about love. É, meu interesse por mineração, geologia econômica, exploração mineral começou por causa das disciplinas ofertadas na graduação. Tive a oportunidade de estagiar com, é, no Serviço Geológico do Brasil, na Gerência de Recursos Minerais. I had a real passion for research and really enjoyed it, but I wanted to make sure that the research I was taking part in had wider implications and would influence the decisions of companies and the industry I was working within. And I feel like being part of the economic geology industry is a perfect way to achieve this. My big interest is to contribute to make geological data more accessible and therefore properly used. I was supposed to be an economic geologist and it's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> it makes me feel that the development of my career is closely linked to the country. My journey into economic geology began in my first year um, at the university, where we would be taught of several mineral deposits our country was rich in. Specifically, minerals like gold, lead, copper, zinc, and tin. So we would learn about these subjects, and I'd be very interested, because I would think what can I do to help my country? And I am an economic geologist. I love being an economic geologist because I get an opportunity to merge science with my creative side. To me, being an economic geologist means understanding the processes that form mineral occurrences and then evaluating those occurrences for possible extraction. So yes, there is a lot of science in economic geology but there's also quite a lot of creative thinking because you tend to think in 3D. I currently work as lead geochemist for a large global exploration and mining company based in Perth. And for me, I've always loved being part of a skilled and highly motivating and generally really fun team. Through my job, I've worked on a diverse range of different ore deposits 
and I'm an Associate Professor of Applied and Environmental Geology at the University of Leicester in the United Kingdom. I've always loved geology and I've always loved chemistry and economic geology or mineral deposit geology has always sat at the overlap between those two for me. A passion for the science and an academic interest. I wanted to stay on this more sustainable approach, trying to make the world a better place. I am really interested in economic geology because I think it's key for the development of countries. And yeah, I'm really excited about economic geology. I really want to make a difference and be able to provide some kind of framework that we can find new deposits and learn how these systems work. I want to become an economic geologist because I believe we are absolutely essential in, in order for the world as a whole to move towards a more sustainable way of living. We are all working towards the goal, goal of decarbonisation and the only way in order for us to do this is to mine those critical raw resources. I am just so motivated to do something that has an impact on society and to actually help promote um, economic geology to other students um, so that they understand the, its importance in our future. I was very interested in geology since I was young. So I chose resource exploration engineering as my undergraduate major. When I started studying geology, I found out that I fell in love with it. I'm curious about everything I observed in the field and uh, like to feel the magic of nature. We need all of these metals for the future, for renewables, for um, new buildings, for everything really. So um, the reason why I'm interested in economic geology is I love putting my skills to use to find these metals. As we all know, mineral resource is an essential factor affecting the national development. So the interest and the importance of it caused me want to be an economic geologist. I study geology and I wanted to be a geologist because the mountain is near. Even you don't climb it, it's always near. When we looked up at a vast starry sky while standing on a statue, I think it's really romantic to spend my short life exploring the everlasting gifts of the earth, rather than ups and downs of happiness and sorrow in a single day. There is a proverb that says, if there is a career that you are willing to work for for the rest of your life and never regret, then it's your calling. For me, economical mineralogy is. As for me, it's a pleasure to be a member of economic geologists. It's a really nice chance to leave something meaningful to this world. For the future of an economic geologist, I think it will be continue to focus on the new energy for energy conservation and emission reductions. So many answers lie on the subsurface, but we still have a lot to learn about it. So it's really an exciting time to be a geologist. Now more than ever, the world knowledge is now accessible online. Uh, and I think there is a global transformation in the way that we have access uh, this knowledge um, and I think that brought an opportunity for us. As the next generation of rock stars is that we'll be entrusted with more pressure to make new discoveries, expand existing ore reserves and work in countries that uh, or areas that have previously not been explored by the mineral sector for a variety of reasons. We as ECPs have a big role to play. We need to make sure that we are helping people understand not only where, but how we extract the metals that they use every single day in their routine lives. And if we can do so across the world using our own networks, we then be able to communicate and broadcast this message across a wide spectrum of people and on a global platform. I look forward to using my skills to make the world a more sustainable place and especially assisting responsible use of my mother continent's rich resources. Thank you. Thank you very much and stay safe. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you so much for taking time to listen to this and have a good day.